So now let's start to play around with ChatGPT and help it write proper chart.js code. So what I'm going to say here, draw a line chart in chart.js or with chart.js, one or the other. Let's see what it gives us as a suggestion. And this is really fun to see just how AI starts to figure it out itself. As you can see here, this technology probably will be a really wonderful, it's like a personal Google, a personal assistant helping you. All right, there we are. So it gives a whole story. Now it gives us a sample. You can see here, we get a chart.js version two, which is fine. Let's see later on if we can start to suggest a better version, We're going to improve that. So we have here now the information. All right, gives us a whole chunk of code or at least brackets of code. So let's see. All right, we get the labels, we get the data sets, we get the first data sets, background color, border colors as well, the data as well. Configuration options. All right, so now we get this here. And uh, let's fine tune this. First of all, you can see here we have the var variable, and let's be honest, that is quite outdated uh, usage of it, or we don't use it hardly. So let's change that. Change code above and replace var with constant. Enter. So let's see if it understands what we're doing. We're going to fine tune it a little bit. All right, it's rendering. And as you can see here, it's keeps on, there we are. So now it's going to repeat itself. We should expect at least the same, you can see the constants are being displayed. Alright. And then it gives us an additional explanation. Interesting. But now I am. Oh, wait, hold on. It's still loading, I guess, is it? Well, it it's doing a lot more, so let's not do anything until it's completely done. All right, I'm satisfied with the constants. We get these constants here, type, everything else this looks fine. Let's say I want to use version four instead of version 2.9. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be very specific. Uh, please use chart.js version 4.0.1, which is quite now, which is the latest one as of now, instead of version 2.9.3 if I'm not mistaken yes and uh, let's see if it understands the reference to this so it's rendering there we are all right as you can see here it gives us the item now let's see what's the suggestion Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so it gives us really, this is really magical. All right, oh, it, it continues on with our code. That's nice. All right, that looks good. All right, use the latest version of charges API, our data labels. All right, I didn't, I don't understand why it suddenly gets the data labels because we didn't even add up the data labels in here. Anyway, that's nice. So let's say now, let's try one more thing. Let's push it. How far can we push it? Let's add up another data set. So I'm going to say here, add another data set in our code above. And let's see how smart is this. 
and go to remove later on the plugin. I don't like that plugin in there. It's we didn't even indicate that we want to have a plugin. Oh, hold on. I guess it's loading here. All right, it's down there. Try to add another data set. All right, let's see. Let's see what it does. All right, we got that. The data sets. Get a label. My first data set. Now we have another data set here. So it should only have two data sets, not more than that. If it has more, it is not following our command. There we are. Wow, I guess IT people are having a hard time with this eventually because this machine will just do everything. Anyway. That is interesting. One more thing that I want to do, we want to solve this. Remove the plugin data labels. All right. Remove the plugin data labels from our code. Let's see what it does. Let's see if we really understand what we're doing. All right, rendering again. Data labels from plugin around. So using constant. Yeah. Now I'm wondering if we're having the same text all the time. So I'm going to check it on the, the numbers. Are the numbers identical? And if the colors are identical as well. So we're getting here. So that might mean that is it random or does it get it from somewhere else? All right. Oh, it is ignoring it. The, the plugins property is removed from the options. That is not true. It is remove the data label plugin. It does put in here a comment saying it needs to remove this or maybe it's a display false. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's doing what? It just shows this. Oh. Okay, I guess we push, we're pushing the bot too far and it broke. You can try it again, but I guess that is for now. This is really interesting. Let's look at the numbers. You get these numbers here, the colors. And uh, here the colors, I think they're all same as well. That's absolutely beautiful. And this is really shocking in how this really works. So I probably will test it another time as well. 